from all the android 12 videos i made one of the main questions from my viewers i got is can i install this gsi on my smartphone today i am going to exclusively answer that question i am going to show you the methods of how to flash this particular gsi on any android device you have so let's get going this is aro welcome to my channel There are basically three types of partitions in your Android devices. A only type, A by B type and dynamic partitions. The devices with different type of partitions have different flashing processes. So the first and the foremost thing we have to do is to find out which type of partition is there in our device and to check whether it supports Treble or not. In order to do this there is an app on the Play Store called Treble Info. Install and open this app and it will show you what type of device partitions you have Basically, there are three types as I said before the first one is a only type In this type of partition the device does not have the support for seamless updates and it does not have The dynamic partitions which we can verify from this app here. We have the redmi note 4 which is an a only type device in the second device it supports the seamless updates but it does not have the dynamic partition it means it is an a by b type of device the next third device it does not have the support for seamless updates but it has the dynamic partition so it is a third type we have here mi a2 as an a by b type of device and poco x3 pro as the third type of device all these smartphones you can check supports project travel as per the travel info app each type has respective methods of installation so let's see what they are let's start with the middle one which is mia2 and a by b type of device this is the device which you usually get to see on my channel in my previous videos if your device is an a by b type of device then follow this process is pretty simple we need an android 11 custom rom which also supports project triple i particularly suggest using aicp roms because the rate of success is very high compared to others we also need an android 12 gsi and twrp must be installed on your device if you don't know how to install twrp on your smartphone i already made a video about that on my channel the link is provided in the description below you can check it out all the download links are also given in the description below so let's start the process place the android 11 custom rom and android 12 gsi into the internal storage of the device then reboot to recovery by holding the power button and the volume up button now after entering into recovery select wipe after that select advanced wipe then tick dalvik system data cache and vendor you need not wipe the internal storage after wiping gets finished now click install select the android 11 custom rom that you placed in the internal storage and then swipe to flash this will take time so i'm fast forwarding it after flashing gets completed now change the active slot to the opposite one so if it is already in a then change it to b or if it is in b then change it to a and now reboot to recovery again after rebooting into recovery click on install and then select the install image option which is in the right bottom and after that select the gsi image and then flash it to the system image partition After flashing process is over then simply select an option to reboot to system then it should boot into android 12 without any issues for me it is a success you can see here but your mileage may vary according to the android 11 custom rom you use it is a simple trial and error method if one android 11 rom does not work you can try it with other android 11 roms which supports trouble that is with the a by b type of devices now into the second device which is a only type which is redmi note 4 the requirements are pretty much the same we must need an android 11 custom rom and an android 12 gsi and twrp must be installed now into the process let's reboot our devices into recovery select wipe select advanced wipe select dalvik system data cache and vendor here also you need not wipe the internal storage 
After wiping, click install. Select the Android 11 custom ROM and simple swipe to flash. After flashing is completed, now here is the difference. We don't need to reboot to recovery again or to change the slot. Leave the device as it is and now again click install. Now select the install image option and select Android 12 GSI and flash it directly to the system image partition. After flashing is completed, simply reboot the system. And you can see I successfully booted into Android 12 on Redmi Note 4. But it is only half truth. I particularly do not recommend doing this on this type of devices which are A only type. Because the success rate is very low and even if it boots, bugs are so scary that our device may become unusable. As you can see here, even though I booted, I am facing random reboots and I am unable to cross the startup screen so it is pretty much useless. This happens because this particular GSI is made only for the A by B devices. And this is an A only type device. But it also depends on the device and also the Android 11 custom ROM that you are using. It doesn't mean that you are also going to face the same problem as me because if you got a good vendor, it may work perfectly fine. But whatever you use, the process is pretty much the same. You can follow these steps. Next, let's turn into the third device which have dynamic partitions. It is pretty much easy to install and use Android 12 on these devices. You don't need to download any kind of files like the Android 11 custom ROM or Android 12 GSI or you don't even need the TWRP recovery on your device. Simply just keep the device as it is, enable the developer options on your device, go into the developer options and search for an option called DSU Loader. Click on it, it will show you two options. One is an ARM64 file and the other is an ARM64 file with Google Play services. You can select any of those options. It doesn't make much difference. After clicking that option, it will immediately start installing and you can check the progress of installation in the notification area. I already did this in, on my device. So after the installation is completed, it will show you an option to reboot. Then simply click on reboot. After that, your device will reboot into Android 12 and you can try out all the new features and do whatever you like on Android 12. And one more interesting thing is, this is the safest option in all these three methods. Because we don't lose any data here and if we don't like that Android 12 build, we can simply revert back to our stock with a simple reboot. All our apps will be there and no data will be lost. But the rate of success may vary because for me here it failed to boot into the Android 12 but it is again back to the stock so I need not worry. But for the same device which is Poco X3 Pro for other users they managed to boot it successfully. So it depends upon your device. Sometimes it may work, sometimes it may not. So you can try your luck but even if it fails you have nothing to lose. So. This is the safest option. This is the safest way that I will suggest for the devices which have the dynamic partition system. So that's all about the three types of flashings that we can use to get Android 12 on any Android device. So use it according to your device. Please let me know in the comment section if you manage to successfully boot and use Android 12 on your devices by using the above methods. Give us a like. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Please press the bell icon to get notifications about my latest videos. Thank you. Thank you for watching. This is Arrow signing off.